hi libra welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well this is going to be for libra sun moon rising venus and north node please remember to take what resonates and leave what does not fit and also remember to um flip and switch the roles i could be talking about someone else in your energy okay so we're going to do a full moon and virgo reading for you guys 10 10 on the clock so you guys could be seeing that number so something here could be ending for you guys okay closing out a cycle closing out all right let's see for libra spirit <clears throat> what is the full moon shining a light on for libra what is this full moon shining a light on for libra okay here you are ace of swords so truth and clarity coming in a breakthrough maybe you're brainstorming some ideas or brainstorming how to do something get out of a situation or it could be ideas for work or whatever let's see what is this full moon shining a light on here for libra what is this full moon shining a light on okay eight of cups yeah walking away from something what is ready to be released here spirit what is ready to be released Okay, the emperor could be dealing with an Aries or have this somewhere in your chart. What does Libra need to call in, spirit? Okay, I'm gonna leave that one turned over. Okay, bottom of the deck is death. Scorpio energy could be dealing with the Scorpio. So it looks like this is a transformative time here, Libra. You're going through a transition of some sort and walking away from things that are, you know, putting you in a place of feeling insecure, you know, a place where you feel less of yourself, like low self-esteem, things like that. I feel like you're not emotionally happy somewhere. So you're moving away. So spirit is shining a light on that for you and, and illuminating a path so that way you can get out of something. That's what I felt in the beginning. Okay, I, I just feel like you're not happy somewhere. Okay, and so you're walking away from something. So maybe... Um, spirit is going to show you something that is going to allow you to um, remove yourself easier than what it would be if you were confused or, you know, in some type of illusion or you couldn't see straight or, or something like that. I feel like um, spirit is helping you out here. So let's see. What is this eight of cups for Libra? I'll take this sweater off. It's hot. What is this Eight of Cups for Libra? Eight of Cups for Libra. Eight of Cups. Okay, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like as soon as you walk away from something, you're going to be blessed with a new opportunity here. For some of you, somebody here walked away from a divine opportunity to do something. Okay, somebody walked away from that opportunity, in which they probably feel like it's the wrong jo uh, choice now. But for some of, for others of you, maybe for most of you, whatever you're walking away from, you're going to be blessed as soon as you walk away from whatever this is. Okay, definitely getting ready to go on a new journey. Okay, and you know, to to a happier life. I feel. <clears throat> Yeah, you're letting go of something here. Maybe you're walking away to do some more introspection here. Maybe somebody withdrew their energy from you. Maybe for temporary, like it was just temporary. But let's see. Some of you guys are getting a new home, a new place, uh, a new career, a new job here where you're going to be a boss or a manager with the emperor. But let's see. What else for the Eight of Cups? What else for the Eight of Cups? Oh, too many spirit, but I'll take it. You could be dealing with the Virgo or Gemini with the lovers, but the Ace of Wands, the Hermit, and the Page of Wands, yeah. Definitely getting a new beginning here because you've done the work here, or you are doing the work. You're doing some deep introspection. Maybe some shadow work is being done. So somebody withdrew their energy from you is because they're doing that, or if you're just uh, feeling like you're isolating yourself from everyone, or people are saying, oh, why are you not hanging around us no more, blah, blah, blah. It's because you're doing the work that you need to do, just period. 
but there's something new and passionate coming in it i feel like maybe it could be in your career or it could be a relationship here with the lovers just take it how it resonates yeah but there's good news coming in there's some communication coming in okay and i feel like you've definitely done the work or you're doing the work or somebody is so spirit is going to be shining a light on the things that you need to work on to become a better use so that way you can receive this good karma that wants to come to you here yeah doing some self-discovery self-analyst okay um on what you want doing some soul searching here spiritual awakening is happening definitely yeah so something new and passionate is coming in for some of you guys you're going on a vacation you're traveling here the page of wands ace of wands to do this introspection maybe you need time away from the norm here to to think clearly and to do whatever else you need to do to get your mind right so that looks good to me yep so two two aces here so far so let's see so what is ready to be released this full moon here we got the emperor so um it could be control here okay you could be trying to control a situation all right and it's just not working out for you so maybe somebody needs to surrender and release control it could be your masculine here with the emperor or it could be or this is you or this could be just somebody in your life here that wants control over you this could be who you're releasing okay but yeah let's see stubbornness could be the emperor could be stubborn um very much the emperor could be like head over heart but i feel like the emperor embodies the emperor just like the empress embodies all four kings in the deck okay so there, there's something here within the person that wants to show um vulnerability possibly but they just don't know how or they always feel like they have to be in control of their emotions because maybe they're scared okay but let's see what is the emperor for libra Okay, yeah, it is source. So yeah, you could be removing yourself um, from this person or you could just be feeling a sense of freedom here with the eight of swords in reverse, coming out of a time of feeling trapped, stuck, hopeless. Um, you know, I feel like you're removing yourself from that here. Or this is going to be released this full moon. Maybe this person was keeping you stuck or trapped or held back in a way. Somebody here had great control over your mind or how you thought about things or the overthinking and and, and staying stagnant because overthinking definitely keeps you stuck because you don't know which way to go. What else for the emperor? Okay, yeah, the knight of cups. So yeah, it could be something here that somebody wants to do. Yeah, two of cups because there's love here. Two of cups, ace of cups, the empress. Yeah, because there's love here. So So there's an offer coming in. So somebody definitely wants to release their feelings for you. I feel like they put on a, a, a brave face. So they're very stoic or cold or aloof, but they really want more out of the situation. So I feel like somebody's removing themselves either from a situation here that they were unhappy in. You guys could be seeing 888 or um, this is just them overthinking or this could be you. The Eight of Swords is your energy. What's this Eight of Swords in reverse? Okay, yeah, Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, something here is shifting or changing. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Yeah, the hierophant. Yeah, something something changed about a person here. Because this person is being healed or guided. Okay. Give me a second here, Libra. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. It's hot. I'm going to take this, this sweater off, y'all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot and i know it's because i got these candles burning and everything give me a second let me put on a different shirt what y'all hold on y'all don't beat me up <clears throat> i'm not putting on this long sleeve shirt it's too hot for that shit mm. um okay let me put on this one just something Okay, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You don't want your reader to pass out, do you? Jeez. <laughs> I gotta, okay. Whew, I feel so much cooler. All right. So, 
Um, okay. I'm regrouping, yeah, regrouping. Okay, so, yeah, so something here is shifting. I feel like somebody is learning a lesson here. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune talks about karma. Okay. But yeah, I feel like somebody's headed down the right path. It's either you or this person. So, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like there's a romantic proposal coming from your masculine. <clears throat> because somebody has had a change, to, a change of heart or something shifted within this person. This introspection has helped someone a lot. Yep. Okay, seven of cups. Hmm. So, what do you need to call in here? Maybe some clarity. Maybe um, meditate and, and um, talk to your ancestors, your guides, so you can receive clarity here. For some of you guys, I'm hearing you need to get more rest so you can... Um, for your dream space, because I've been finding that um, the more I get rest... Or you know what, guys? Some of you guys should sleep naked, too. If you don't sleep ass naked, you should. <laughs> I'm just saying, because it's been helping my dream space, okay? My dream space has been really clear. I've been being able to remember my dreams. I've been having, having dreams, like, every night. Or, like, when I take little naps, I get, like, certain answers in my dream state. So, I don't know. Maybe somebody needed to hear that. I don't know. But it, it, you could... um because you heal during your sleep. So you possibly need more rest. But definitely calling in more clarity. Um, maybe there are new opportunities trying to come in for you. So maybe ask Spirit to bring you new opportunities in whatever you're trying to do. Because you could be confused about something. What? Let's see. What's the Seven of Cups right here? What's the Seven of Cups? Okay, two of wands. You're trying to make a decision. <clears throat> What's the seven of cups? Or you're trying to plan for something, but you could be overwhelmed or confused. Or What's the seven of cups with the two of wands? So definitely needing to call it, yeah, ace of cups. So for some of you, you're going to have to make a choice because you have new suitors here. You're going to have new love and you're going to have to make some type of choice. So definitely ask your spirit guides and your angels to give you, you know, more clarity. Yeah, because the moon and the seven of swords, somebody here is being deceptive or deceitful here. Like, uh, well, those are the same words, but y'all get what I'm saying. Um, I don't know. Yeah, so I feel like new doors are opening for you, but now it just comes down to you making a decision. You want to make the right one. Be aware of new suitors here that are hiding things. You're going to need to really go with them when it comes down to maybe meeting new people. Let's see, what is this, Two of Wands? For some of you, this is a renewed love, but we're going to see. What is Two of Wands right here for Libra? Yeah, Seven of Cups again. <laughs> Confusion. It's maybe a lot going on. Maybe you have a lot of people that want to be with you or you're waiting. I feel like you're, you're waiting to become clear about something or to receive the answers from something. It could be coming in through your dream space. So definitely... Uh, Pay attention or write your dreams down like as soon as you get up so you won't forget. What else for the two of wands with the seven of cups? Okay, six of swords. So yeah. I feel like you're just trying to figure out which path is the right path for you. What's the right way to go? Okay. For some of you, you're trying to figure out where to go here. You have a lot of places that you want to travel to or go to or whatever. You're just trying to figure out where to go. So travel plans here, but what's this seven of wands with this two of cups? I mean, seven of wands with this two of wands. Seven of cups with this two of wands. <laughs> what's the seven of cups with this two of wands for Libra? The devil, the king of swords, the four of pentacles. Hmm. Queen of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So you could be dealing with another air sign that is toxic. You're trying to move away from this person, but they could be causing illusions because they're possessive, controlling. I don't know. They're trying to hold you back from something or they're trying to keep you stuck. Okay, and I feel like you're just trying to be released from this person. They're a little bit cold. They're aloof. They could be mean. The king of swords with the devil is just, I don't know. They're not a good person. 
but um yeah this shit is falling apart anyway with the tower the judgment three of wands four of cups the high priestess hmm. yeah so some of you guys could be going through a divorce but after a time of excuse me doing this introspection i feel like you're finally going to be able to make a decision and move forward Yeah, because something here here is just, like, toxic. Somebody could have real, real bad control issues. Like, they could be kind of, like, um... <clears throat> they do too much. I don't know. But they definitely trying to hold on to you, though. Hmm. So, so, yeah, ask Spirit for some clarity, because... You could just be confused. I don't know if they're trying to cause illusions like on purpose, like doing spell work. I've been picking that up a lot for you guys or what, but I feel like you're going to know what your what your path is. You're going to figure it out with the Six of Swords. You're going to be able to find a peaceful resolution because you're going to be making the right decision here. Maybe it's more ways than one that you can, you know, walk away from this person. And uh, maybe you feel like you need to be strategic about it because this person is... um. I don't know they're toxic in a way, but I feel like you're definitely going to be head over heart and you're going to make a logical decision here because if you, you know, be hard over head, you're going to be stuck with somebody that's toxic. So I feel like you're going to be able to set boundaries or speak your truth or stand up for yourself with the King of Swords. Yeah, what's this Ace of Cups right here for Libra? What's this Ace of Cups? We got three aces. So definitely new beginnings here. What is this ace of cups? Okay, queen of wands. So this ace of cups could be with the fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. That you want to go towards maybe. Or that's coming towards you. Or you're going to meet this person here that you're going to fall in love with. This is one of the new love people. Let's see. What's this ace of cups? One more with the queen of wands. Okay, yeah, five of pentacles. Who's this queen of wands? Who's this queen of wands? Okay, the moon. All right, so... <clears throat> one more for the queen of wands. Let me see. Could be dealing with the cancer. One more for the queen of wands with the moon. Queen of wands with the, <clears throat> the moon. Okay, two of pentacles. So, okay. So really just be careful here, Libra. Because it's a lot of confusing shit going on right here. <clears throat> it really, really is. So this new love. For some of you, you are getting brand new love. But maybe specifically there's a fire sign here. Or it could be an earth sign or a cancer. Okay. That is like, maybe they're having some financial issues. You could have left this person out in the cold or whatever. And they're juggling their finances so they could be coming back to you trying to get back with you or renew something with you but you're gonna have to decide on i feel like telling this person hell no go away <laughs> it's your decision though whatever but it's i don't know i feel like this person is not um they're they're hiding something they're hiding something and i feel like your intuition is going to be telling you things and you need to pay attention because somebody here could be definitely be doing some type of spell work or something. I, I feel the energy is very, I'm thrown off by it. So definitely listen to your intuition, okay? And stay in a, um, a positive mindset here. Don't be, you know, don't be negative because evil entities can attach to those type of low vibrational energies. If you're not low vibrational, the magic won't work, okay? But let's see, this person could be juggling you or just have a lot on their plate. And so just really be aware. One more, let me see, what's this moon right here? What's the moon? Okay, yeah, the six of wands. So yeah, I just feel like there's a lot of people here. And so you just need to be careful. There, there could be a lot of people that's coming towards you because they want a victory with you. They want this new love with you or whatever. You have a lot of options or a lot of things going on where it's causing confusion or you feel overwhelmed. For some of you, this Queen of Wands could be somebody here that's going to help you through a time of you juggling your finances or or whatever. You know what I'm saying? This could be somebody that's, that's here to help you. But just listen to your intuition still with the moon. 
Because the Queen of Wands could be a tricky uh, tarot card. Because they could be like a mistress, okay? But they can also represent somebody that's bitter, okay? With the Seven of Cups and the um, Seven of Cups here twice with the Devil and the Moon. And the Queen of Wands, they're known for doing spell work and shit like that. So just be aware. That's all I can say. But I feel like you don't see that a victory is coming ahead. This person could be coming to help you out. This person could get a lot of attention too, though. So this could be this new love. They could be seen in the public eye. They could work in the beauty industry or something like that. But and maybe you need to listen to your intuition about this person. Because this person does love you. Just because somebody gets a lot of attention doesn't mean that they're entertaining it. Okay, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, the lover is the emperor. So this could be somebody that you want to spend your life with or um, build a family with, build an empire with here. You know what I'm saying? So just listen to your intuition about this new love coming in. That's all I'm saying. Do some research, ask questions, and ask as many as you want. You know, just don't scare the wrong person off. So, okay, let's see. for Libra spirit clarify the spirit for Libra let's see what else we can get let's see if we can put some more pieces of the puzzle together because Libra your readings there's always some confusion shit going on with your readings goldfish increase in material wealth or spiritual growth yeah that's what that's that's what's happening here okay let's see All right, bottom of the deck, we have victory in some endeavor. Somebody's name can start with the letter V. So Victor, Vicky. Okay, so we have Jug, lighthearted, carefree time. Okay, so that's nice. Hat, you will be playing a different role. Okay, I don't know what that means for you. Wishbone, a wish is granted. Yeah, fellow of the hermit, so... Yeah, whatever this introspection is that you've done or your person has done, you're going to get your wish with this person or without. But maybe your wish is this person, so I feel like it's coming. But there's definitely some confusion shit or somebody trying to confuse somebody. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So somebody could be doing something in regards to somebody's finances. That's, a, you know, the five pentacles, two of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're going to get a victory over them, though. I don't know what they're trying to do. Ink pot, problems to be resolved. Okay. Love. So this is about a love, a relationship about love and career. This is a spread about love and career. Something could be happening in August. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. Okay. Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Pen, a new job or career. So some of you guys are moving into a leadership position or getting a new job. Yeah, with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like new, new, new is here. So a new passionate beginning, a new career, new love is here. A lot of things happening at once, which could be causing you to feel overwhelmed. A uh, firecracker, excitement. So if I love the Queen of Wands and the uh, Ace of Cups, the Queen of Wands is somebody that's usually very spontaneous. They are very exciting because they have that fire element. They're passionate, they're bold, they're courageous. Maybe this person is going to give you a new new outlook on life, okay? There's something that could be mysterious about this person with the moon, but they could be a good person, this queen of wands. Y'all know who I'm talking about, okay, um, for you. Horse, short journey. So yeah, I feel like something here was temporary. It was only a matter of time before this person got out of their head or, you know, they needed to go within to do some introspection or somebody did, either you or them. Shield, you need to defend yourself. Mm. Chair feels someone new is entering your life. Yeah, it looks like it. Yep, November, it's fell over the devil. So something that could have happened in November. Somebody could be dealing with the Capricorn, but somebody's birthday could be in a... I mean, uh, somebody could be a Scorpio. What else is in November? Or Sag? Is it Scorpio or Sagittarius? Or who else is in November? Or this is you, Libra. Isn't your birthday in November too? Like, um, let me see something. Let me see. Because I don't like not knowing stuff.
Sagittarius, but what's um oh Scorpio or Sagittarius, so it could be both. So you could be dealing with the Sag or Scorpio. Yeah, okay, whatever. So crown, honor and respect will come to you. Okay, yeah. Marriage and grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling. So you could be married to somebody that is like you have to be very careful with this person because they're a little bit like they're not okay in the head. They could be, I don't know, trying to stop your, your plans or your movement or something like that. Something weird like that is going on. We got sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. Yeah, then we have teardrops, great personal sorrow. Yeah, so something here is, something here has happened. Somebody could be crying a lot over something that they lost or somebody that they lost from this side of the deck to this part of the deck here for you guys <clears throat> we have nest an emotionally secure loving family is important to you okay oh shoot that's enough Bottom of the deck is needle and thread. A sincere wish wish will be granted. So you got that twice. Carriage, a journey either physical or mental. Fell over to seven of cups. Mm -hmm. And then we have cane. Pay attention to your health. Okay. Pay attention to your health. We got tanker. Celebration, fun, enjoyment. Slowly but surely getting ahead. Okay, tortoise. Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. Could be dealing with an Aries. A valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Chain, chain of events that will affect your life. And then we have bird perched, waiting for news, package, or a letter. Okay, so whatever this, maybe this news that's coming in will affect your life, maybe in a positive way. Or if it doesn't feel good now, it'll feel better later because you're going to move into something else. You know, let's see. Tree, affairs with family. Torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding june something here could be happening in june diamond you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift okay yeah with the fell over the knight of cups so this person could be coming in june they've did some spiritual development or enlightenment okay something that could have happened in their family or yours which stopped for movement camel persevere and you will overcome problems yeah purse pay attention to your finances yeah i fell over the eight of swords in reverse with the will of fortune so definitely something about someone's money dragon beware of self-delusion yeah some, something about delusion is here uh wealth okay fair woman dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde gray or white hair older woman dealings or relationship with an older woman so this older woman could have gray white or blonde hair here or it could be a man doesn't matter kite vacation okay so yeah you could be going on a vacation guys or maybe this person wants to take you on one after they get their finances together it looks like and they've went through some type of spiritual awakening here to find peace within themselves so they can bring you this peace but i do feel like somebody's trying to get away from someone <laughs> that um is being deceptive in a way but anyways so yeah this was your reading guys like comment subscribe turn on your notification bell and i'll talk to you guys later bye